friends hello welcome back hope everyone's day's been going well it has been yet another classic columbus blue jackets off season here for my beloved blue jackets where they just watch players walk out the door this time seth jones hey end of the day i thought it was a pretty good trade i thought the blue jackets for a guy that wasn't going to be here and wants to see that zach Wierenski contract i don't know if you're paying over 18 million for two players i think it's a pretty good deal I think the Blue Jackets did well there. It was tough for those two guys to stay on his team. Would have loved to have them both on his team. Were they going to pay him that much? Who knows? I would have paid him because, hey, you got to keep the players you can. Nonetheless, Seth Jones didn't want to be here. And he adds to the list of players that have wanted to be traded or walked away for agency on the Columbus Blue Jackets. So today, we're reminiscing. We're putting together a team of all of the players the Blue Jackets could have. I mean, technically couldn't have all of them because of the trades. But could have. Had they not walked out the door or had they not been traded. Let's go to take a look here. Starting with our first line, we have Artemi Panarin. You have William Carlson gone in that expansion draft to protect some defensemen with a first round pick. Vegas did all right in that one. I mean, Vegas did better than, you know, what we've seen. <laughs> I can't believe Seattle still. I really can't. I don't know how they didn't make any trades and how they just did so much. It's early. We'll see, but I just felt like after the Vegas expansion drive, Vegas, you, you, they had some players actually heard of. That's just the way I'm going to put it. I'll be honest here. Uh, Patrick Line, current Blue Jacket. You have a Jonathan Marshall. Speaking of ex-Blue Jackets way back in the day, you got Pierre-Luc Dubois who said, get me out of here, please, and thank you. You have Jakob Borchek, who is once a Blue Jacket and now a Blue Jacket again. Brandon Saad, the trade of the century for the Blue Jackets. Panarin for Saad. Might have been Matt Duchesne. Oh, ex-Blue Jackets. I think Duchesne would have been happy to stay here. Probably a good thing the Blue Jackets didn't pay him that much. So, sorry, Matt Duchesne. Uh, that, was, that was a good one. Uh, Oliver Yorkshire, current Blue Jacket. Nick Foligno, longtime captain of the Blue Jackets. You have Boone Jenner. And then you have Josh Anderson. Overall defense. Taking a look, you got Zach Orensky, of course. And then again, Seth Jones still on the team here. You throw on Gavrikov. You got David Savard. You got Marcus Nudevara. And then you have newest and latest Blue Jacket, Adam Boquist. I feel like we're missing a defender here. I'm not entirely sure. We went through the list thinking we as a good Blue Jacket fan here. You could just go through every team's team and pick out the players instead of looking at the history. That's normally what we do in these videos is go online, check out every single season, you know, the team from every single season, get the guys there. We just went through the teams here. So hopefully we didn't miss anybody. If we did, um, you know, let me know. Fake Blue Jacket fan, I guess. Nonetheless, the goaltender, Sergei Bobrovsky, Welcome back. What's Sergey's overall now? 86. Man, can this guy please bounce back for Florida? I want to say, I, Bob's not a Blue Jacket anymore, but I really want to see this guy succeed. And I really want to see him get a cut. I tell you what, Florida's got the potential, too, for a guy like him with that offense. We've seen Bobrovsky carry. Absolutely carry defenses in Columbus. And if he could do that for Florida, with that offense in Florida, they could make some serious noise here. Nonetheless, Blue Jackets, here we go. Let's start this season 4-1-1. One one. Like to see it. Could have one of the better teams in the league. I believe we was a 90 overall here going into this season, so not bad. 90s decent, still, you know, Tampa Bay good. You can't compete with Tampa Bay and all them players they got there. But, hey, if you go out there, you're going to be the Blue Jackets, bring all these guys back. Hey, you wouldn't have to bring all of them back. I just imagine if I'm a Blue Jacket fan, am a Blue Jacket fan, Panarin, Keeping Seth Jones. I mean, the Patrick Liney to Paul thing, I, I would probably keep, I don't know, I, we're not going down that route. Who else could we keep here? Panarin, B B Panarin, Seth Jones. I mean, the list is actually getting shorter now because, uh, okay, Mac, it's beer. But the list is getting shorter now because a lot of those guys that left the team, you know, years ago are getting older. And they're not as good now as they once was. I mean, you just add a guy like Panarin. No, you talk about a big addition. You keep David Savard around as well. I always liked David Savard. Thought he's a good player for this team. Uh, I think the team can make some noise. Uh, nonetheless, though, Blue Jackets, 27 and 17, good season. Going to make playoffs. It looks like here. We went from sitting to standing with the camera thing, and you know what? I don't know. I, I feel like we should sit because I like to move around. I don't know what it is. Start talking, moving back and forth. Is it a nerve thing? I don't. I don't I don't know, because I've done this for like 6,000 years now. I don't think it's that. It's just, I yell and I move. I don't know what to say, fellers. <laughs> Blue Jackets making playoffs, though. That's what you like to see. Let's see how these fellas played. 44, 25, and 13. Here we go. Blue Jackets, what you guys got. Panera, 92 points. Decent season there. You'll like to see it. 88 out of Borchek. What a season. 63 assists. This man went out there. He can do that for the Blue Jackets next season. 
I'm all for it. Patrick Liney would love it because you know what? He's probably getting 48 dingers like he did in the game here. Four players at 80 plus points for this Blue Jackets team. So this team was absolutely nasty from an offensive standpoint. I, why did we only have 44 wins? For what happened there? Minus three for Felino. What you doing there, Felino? You and Josh Anderson just not having a good time. You can throw in Boone Jenner as well if you want. How'd the goaltending look? Bobrovsky back on the team says, nah, ooh, baby. Bobo, maybe that's why we lost? A little bit? Sub 900 would be great, Bob. Just throwing it out there. Just think about it. Give it a little consideration. You don't have to, but it'd be nice if you did. Uh, we might want to start Merz Leakins. Uh, I wanted to check out the standings, if you could go back. It has been so long since we've done this whole team of former players. Thing. I was just thinking about that the other day. What happened? We have not done near as much. As it's, you know what it is? It's the dog days, as they call it in baseball. The dog days of NHL, though. You're getting in August. You're waiting for the new game to come out. And they pushed that sucker back to October this year, apparently. 109 points for the Caps. 101 for the Blue Jackets. So second in the division. 44 wins, 25 losses. That's what we was worried about here. How did they play from that standpoint? Goes a lot per game. Just under three. So it wasn't. Or was that? Go yeah, goes a lot per game. Just under three. Yeah. We look, at, look at the goals for. 3.7. Man, how did this team only win 44 games? They're going to be nasty and play. Look at that power play. 27%. That's ridiculous. Penalty kill at 80%. Could be a little bit better there. Maybe that's part of the problem. Blue Jays going to play them Capitals, though. First or second round, if they get out of the first. Got them Flyers in the first round. Got to be a big series. Columbus looking to pick up some dubs here. Let's get the first two games out of the way. Game 1, L. Game 2, W. Here we go. Heading back or heading into Philly for the first time, I should say here. Series split at one apiece. It's going to stay that way. Heading back to Columbus. For game number five. Blue Jackets going to drop this one. Blue Jackets with a chance to get bounced in the first round with the Dream Team. It'd make me feel better about things. If the Blue Jackets got all the players they could possibly have on this team, they still couldn't get out of the first round. You know what? I'd feel a little bit better. 2-2 two, two after one. All right. What you guys got? Let's get period three out of the way. Uh, I'm just kidding. Period two would be good. Here we go. Period three, though. Game's tied and we simmed it up like an ignorant. We're going to overtime. I did not mean to hit A. I was close. That could have been nasty right there. We got it, though. Here we go. Hey, I told you it's been a while, fellas. You think I was kidding? We're getting out to use the sim, in, sim engine. Here we go. Blue Jackets, what you guys got? Power play. Shot up there. Borchek. Not going to happen. Borchek's had a nasty season. He could really go out there, beat up on his former team right here. If he could do just a little bit of work. Here we go. York stretch shot. Out wide there. You got a uh, Panarin shot as well. Blue Jackets trying to make some noise on his power play. So far, nothing going. Josh Anderson and Carter Hart. Carter Hart is playing outstanding in this game. To hold this team to two goals, a team that was averaging 3.7 goals per game throughout this season. Power play. Flyers, Blue Jackets defense seems to kill it off, and they won't. Blue Jackets. Ah, Provorov with the goal. Blue Jackets bounced in the first round. You bring back all the former Blue Jackets. You keep some of the current ones, and they can't make anything out of the first round happen. You know what it is, though? Sometimes I think EA, biased, completely biased. I think they disrespect some of the Blue Jackets players from an overall standpoint, especially on that defense. I was ever so nasty there, so that probably didn't help as well. Let's look at some of the awards, though. Kucherov with the Art Ross and the Hart. Was wondering if Panarin would bring any of that home. He's not going to. Stutzla got the call. Good for him. Uh, Ehlers, uh, Vesna going to Bishop. We knew Bob wasn't getting out with his 896. Uh, getting nothing, it looks like. The Richard went to Matthews. Well, maybe Line A picked that up with 48 dingers. Apparently not. That's going to wrap things up for this video, though, guys. As always, if you enjoyed it, I appreciate you. Consider liking the video, subscribing. You never have to. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.